All right. <clears throat> so, uh, I told you I was going to surprise you. And this isn't even the best one. I've got a bunch uh, planned for you. And this is like not even the coolest one either, man. I've got some way cooler ones planned. But uh, yeah, this is going to be the mini inverter uh, generator. It's a DIY inverter generator. It'll be extremely efficient. Uh, it's just going to be DC out though. You, you could, I guess you could add an, uh, you know, a sine wave, but this is going to be DC out because I just want it to uh, charge a charge my battery bank. So, uh, like remotely, and I got to fix. So, the tubing that I had, I was tw was twisted. Like it wasn't twisted. It was um, not square. It's kind of like hexagony. And I didn't realize it because I didn't level it. You know, I didn't, when I built this, I didn't put it on the car and level it. So when I tightened my set screw down there uh, to kind of keep the tension off, it uh, it pulled it kind of crooked. So I'm going to have to probably heat it slightly or uh, do something else. Or I may just bend it, uh, put a brick under this side and, and jump on it and it'll bend. Uh, I can't do it right now. It'll bend down, but uh, I can twist it. <clears throat> by force if i can get it and i gotta sand that tubing because it barely fits in there i even oiled it and filed it and i don't have my uh i don't have a cordless grinder here so otherwise it would be done but <clears throat> other than that i did have this bolted it's bolted on there could start it up but you've already heard this loud motherfucker i uh the, even the muffler i made doesn't help so I, I might actually have to make another one because that I want this quiet. I know I'll probably never get it like the black one, but I can come close. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, and I got a. I put a trailer brake controller on this car, huh? Just because, because I wanted to see if I could do it, and I did. And it was kind of trivial too, because I had to add a MOSFET and uh, some stuff to the third brake light circuit because I didn't have enough power to do both. I can only do one or the other, uh, the, either the brake light or the signal to the trailer brake. So I uh, put a MOSFET in, so I use the, the brake light as a, uh, it's actually the carrier signal. The brake light's actually the main signal to the brake controller, but that's also signaling the gate on a MOSFET to turn the brake light on, third brake light, because the third brake light only had like nine volts. It was weird. I don't know why. I guess maybe it's just low, low voltage or something. I don't know. But I put 12 volts in it, and it's a lot brighter now, and it still works, so we're good. Uh, yeah, my little Harbor Freight trailer... I put 7 inch uh, Dexter brakes on it and they work. They work great uh, with this car. This is actually not a car, it's a truck. Uh, it just doesn't look like a truck, but it's a truck. It's been a truck for a long time. Uh, yeah, I spilled a gallon of diesel on accident in the back seat and, and my daughter's seat, so she was pissed. And uh, you know, I'm pissed too because this thing, I forgot to put the clamp on on the bottom after I primed this. I forgot to take a, a needle nose and move the damn clamp. And what happened? Is it pressurized inside the car when it got a little bit warmer in that tank because that tank doesn't have a vent so it blew off <laughs> it blew the hose off and then of course it took a leak right there in the seat drained its entire tank into my back seat it still smells like shit but uh, i ordered a new back seat i was like i ain't even try to clean this man i gotta get another one i gotta just rip this out and i looked at salvage yards and they i mean there was like 300 bucks and then they were not the same color uh, one was like leather. I was like, man, I'd be nice, but it wouldn't match. And I'd tear it up and I'd feel like an idiot because I bought leather. So I was like, you know, I'll just get a uh, cloth. Actually, I'm going to try to clean my cloth. I'm going to soak it in tomato juice and then I'm going to take it to the car wash. The cloth, I'm going to take it off the seat and throw the foam away. The foam's garbage. I know it's, it's screwed. I, I need no help. You ain't getting diesel out. And other than time, I had a jacket when I worked on my truck that smelled like diesel for six months and I washed it four times and it did it didn't matter it smelled the same every time I took it out of the dryer it smelled the same but uh time actually hanging up in the closet uh made the smell go away I can't smell it at all now so something to keep in mind but yep and, and there it is a safety chain I uh I I gotta untangle it this is uh I don't have the hooks yet this is stainless chain it'll uh I'll drop my hooks in there you know what I mean? So this will have safety chains, and I welded this on so that it would stop rattling. It would act, it, and that was a good idea, man, because this thing, I don't know why they don't have them factory like that, because it tightens your hitch up big time, man. It's, it's all the way tight. It's like solid part of the vehicle now. So you don't even feel it at all. Like in the back, you know what I mean? When you're pulling a trailer, you can feel it moving a lot of times, and that's from your hitch slop. You take the hitch slop out, it pulls like a dream, man, and I've got my trailer that I pull this thing with, 
has sway control and everything. It pulls straight as an arrow at 80 mile an hour. It doesn't matter. It's perfect because uh, I got I got it's a little heavy on the hitch, but uh, I also keep tools in the trunk of this thing. There's at least 300 pounds at all times in the trunk, and then I've got a mountain of shit in the back seat. Uh, this is basically a two seater vehicle because uh, my daughter's got a seat, and then I got a seat, and the front seat is full of shit. So, and it's not not like a thief's paradise either. I make it look like a mess. So. Uh, I actually did have a thief steal something from me, and it was the there was one valuable thing in the car, and he got it. Uh, well, it was something that goes pow pow. It was a cheap one, but uh, they ended up with it. I had to file a report and all this shit. And then, uh, but that was the only thing they took, and there was a lot of I ain't gonna say, but I had probably two thousand dollars was sitting in the back seat that they just didn't see, and uh, just left it. You know, I was like, cool, good. Good, they didn't steal my good shit. They didn't steal my helmet, my $500 helmet. They didn't steal any of that stuff. They just stole the pow-pow, but it's because there's uh, homeless people that live over here, or they'll sleep over here, and at night they come through the cars. It's sad. I mean, they'll, they'll check the doors. They don't break the glass, but if your door's unlocked, they're going to get in there, and they're going to look at what you got. And if you don't have anything, they won't steal nothing, But because uh, they've gone through uh, my girlfriend's car twice, mine once at least. Uh, and it was just one mistake, man. I unlocked the car to get something, and I forgot it. And that was the night they got me because that's how I knew they were coming here every night. Because my girlfriend's car had it happen like a week before, and it was, she just happened to forget. And it was next thing you know, uh, shits all over the place in the car. And then mine, they actually left the door open on the passenger side. They it was ajar when I got to start it. That's how I knew the moment I went to go to work. I knew they got in there because the damn it said passenger door ajar, and I was like. I don't have passengers, so I know what that means. And then, sure enough, I look in my thing and it's gone. But uh, everything else was in there, so I'm thankful that they took the cheap ass pow pow, literally less than two hundred dollars value, um, just a cheap ass thirty eight, uh, versus the other stuff. Like even my welding helmet would have been a uh, probably two hundred dollars at a pawn shop because it's five hundred dollars new. I'm pretty sure now because uh, it went up. They had a promotion and then it went up. I think to five ninety five or something for the the Lincoln hood with the flashlight built in. It's real nice, man. It's Bluetooth too, but I couldn't get that to work. And I don't care about that, but I like the light. But, alright. Peace.